After quarantine was imposed, my life slowed down to a snail's pace. A snail with a big old shell. And for me, personally, that one aspect was advantageous because I was definitely losing my mind trying to keep up with juggling multiple facets of my life. Quick aside, I don't know. It just seems like the U.S.'s fast-paced environment and culture causes a lot of us to neglect many sectors of our health. So we may work on exercising, for instance, and it certainly relieves stress, but then we're not mindful of our social relationships or connections with others. Or we are aware of our mental states, but we neglect nutrition. Or being about our grind and money, but we don't denote ourselves to spiritual enrichment for those who are spiritual, of course. We divide life into distinct sectors, careful not letting it overlap and not having the time or energy and maybe awareness to cultivate our own concept of balance because equality in all sectors is trying to reach for perfection and we are all imperfectly perfect individuals. Whew, and a side that got me front and center. Okay, where was I? Quarantine, yes. Quarantine slowed down my life. But thanks to God, not to a halt. A moment of silence to send my loves and prayers to everyone affected by COVID, including my family and friends who have passed this year due to the virus. I became accustomed to having an active lifestyle outside of the house. And I use many public spaces like Planet Fitness, and crowded trails to hold me accountable of my own health. And the moment it changed, when the pandemic first set in, I didn't know what the fudge, like, I just had to put my lungs under arrest. Don't breathe around me, don't speak around me, don't sleep around me. I am not going outside. I took a vacation from outside. They said scarring lung tissue, nope, nope. I don't need any more scars. Long story short. Make a long story short, but you know, to make a long story short. So anyway, long story short. Why do people say long story short? They're not making it short, Stan. I didn't even want to go to walk my trails because everyone else suddenly wanted to go at 5 a.m. in the morning and 3 a.m. is way too dark. I started to go on an exercise regimen in the mornings, but after a disturbed sleep schedule and a night full of random dreams with a glob of nightmares, my body did not want to wake up at 6 a.m. and definitely not walk to the living room, AKA the public office. serious? This early? It's not even 11 a.m. Not even 8. <laughs> and I also had gotten bored of the routine of watching some already fit person work out for 30 minutes while I could barely manage 10 minutes without stopping. And now that I'm trying hard to get better, I have to exercise. It is a given, but I'm trying to find a more sustainable way to stay fit. And I think I've gotten the formula. So I wake up in the morning around 6 a.m. to it's about 45 minutes to an hour before I have to leave. So I sip a cup of coffee or tea. Then after that, I drink cooler room temperature water with lemon and just relax my body. Get dressed with my red jacket. Leave to go walking or hiking for two miles. 
I walk about four to five times a week while the remainder of the days I go swimming or play sports with my family. And then three hours before going to bed, I do about 10 minutes of strengthening exercises. Now I started out with my stomach in my upper body this week because I wanted to reduce fat near my organs while strengthening my core. Or I just wanna wear a dress and not have my pouch just hanging. Or fit a couple of shirts that um, I magically can't fit anymore. And stop hiding my belly in my pants like a dirty little secret. Looking like Sebastian's lips. Oh my God. There's a restaurant called Squid Lips in no other place than Florida. If anybody who's ever been to this place, tell me how it went in the comments, cause I need a laugh. Now it has its perks, okay? It's good for leaning stuff on. It gets a good angle. It's a nice armrest, you know? Sometimes I honestly, like, sometimes I feel I just may be in one of those news videos that film random people just living their lives, just walking with the news caption entitled, America is fat. My fupa is a paid actor. Back to my diary. So week one is coming to an end and my body feels extremely hot, sweaty, achy, and it hurts. But I kind of like it. 